Drive it. You know, I think first and foremost, you got to do what's best for your players and your team, and and uh, that's that's what. I'm charged with as a head coach is, is my job is to do what's the very best for SFA football. And the pandemic's here, you know, it's it's kind of like learning to live through a pandemic. We're all doing that now, you know, wearing wearing masks and, and shields and everything else. Things have gotten better throughout the state and with the local health and everything else. So you are, you can go home and you won't have to isolate when you come back on this off week, this off weekend. But guys, if you go home, who at home has the coronavirus? Everybody. Everybody. Okay. From a scheduling standpoint, that's what we want to do. Our kids wanted to play. It was unanimous. They wanted to play now. Seniors wanted to play. Underclassmen wanted to play. But it's a matter of getting the right schedule put together. We're playing up four games, down four games, and then we've got two that are FCS level uh, games. And that was really the hardest to find was just the FCS, you know, level games because there's just not a lot of play or a lot of teams that are playing. I think if we how Coach Carlos scheduled it to play teams that are similar to the teams we'll be playing next year, I think it helps like build up because then also we can play freshmen when we play D2 and that'll help them for next year when we have a conference season. So I think it just kind of helps get like improvement and growth in our program. I think it's just honestly being blessed enough to go out there and play football this year and not having to wait. Our positivity rate is very, very low within you know football especially but in, in athletics and you know you get outside and the farther outside you get, you know, the higher the positivity rate is, which means just more people have it uh, that you're coming into general contact. We don't want starters going out because they went to a bar the night, the night after a game or something got COVID and they bring it to everybody else on the team. So we get tested so much and then we also like stay in our personal bubble and also we kind of like, like stretch out our schedule so that we're kind of always up at football, I feel like. Every meeting our coaches preach it, like let's be smart, like stay six feet away, like wear your mask at all times. He's like, I know you're in college, but just be like, be smart. You know, there's such a stigma about it. <gasps> oh my gosh, he got coronavirus, you know. It, well, it's not a death sentence. It's not the plague. And, and it's not something to be embarrassed about. You know, we're all working hard not to get it. I don't want it. I don't want my kids to have it. I don't want my grandmother, who's 92 years old, to get it. Nobody wants to, to get it. They got this win. Ready, Ready set, go. Somebody it. wants it. it. Saturday's probably the most enjoyable day because you kind of, for about three and a half hours there, you get to forget all the problems of the world. And I think that's what, well, I've always said America needs football right now.